A shock outright win for the Conservatives, the resignations of three party leaders, an SNP landslide. It's been quite an election. David Cameron walked into number 10 with a majority, knowing he's Prime Minister of a politically transformed United Kingdom. We will govern as a party of one nation, one United Kingdom. It's been a night and a day of extraordinary drama, the voters delivering a blow to some of the biggest names in politics. Ed Miliband, Nick Clegg and UKIP's Nigel Farage all resigned as party leaders within an hour of each other. I take absolute and total responsibility for the result and our defeat at this election. I'm so sorry for all of those colleagues who lost their seats. The SNP swept Labour out of Scotland. They won all but three of 59 seats. The Scottish lion has roared this morning across the country. And we've travelled from Scotland to London, getting voters' reactions to the changed political landscape. It's the first time I've actually smiled after a general election. And I just can't understand where all the, the pundits have been who are saying Labour are going to do well and these are going to do well. And I just don't know where it's all come from. After today's dramatic events, we'll have all the fallout from the election here on the BBC News Channel. We'll be live in Westminster and Downing Street. Good evening and welcome to the BBC's News at Six here in Downing Street. One of the most unpredictable elections in generations has come up with the most unexpected of results. David Cameron walked back into number 10 this afternoon at the head of a Tory party that had been swept back to power with a majority. Success too for the SNP. They now dominate the political map of Scotland. Equally dramatic, three other party leaders fell like dominoes, resigning within an hour of each other. Ed